Since we were planning on just going from Morocco straight to Croatia, we ended up packing everything for both trips. But then once we landed, we realized, hey, we got three hours to kill. Let's go home, see the kitties, eat some food, drop off some Moroccan souvenirs so we could catch our flight to Croatia. We're fancy, we're flying business class to Croatia. I feel like a zombie right now. My body's used to a different time zone, but because there's sunlight outside, it also wants to stay awake, but I'm tired, but I'm awake, and so I'm tired. I'm hungry. Yeah, I feel like a zombie too on the way here. My eyes were like bloodshot red. They're better now. I think adrenaline's starting to pump into me since I'm at the airport, but uh, this is rough. We are back in Turkey. In the same hotel as last time from our honeymoon coming back, or going back to LA. You remembered exactly how to go about the visa when we got in. The passport control passport, and everything. Yeah, I'm you like, knew I remember everything. this. Yeah, because I think if it was just me by myself and I came here, I'd be like, I kind of remember this and I'd still be at the airport at this time. But thanks to you, we're here already. Yay. Comfortable. <laughs> You lost without me, baby. Always. <laughs> Why is that? Why is that with the husbands and wives? And it's not just us. All I... of our friends say the same thing. All of the wives, are my husband's my child. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's so funny because it's like all of a sudden, as soon as you're married, you just can't take care of yourself anymore. And you're so dependent on your wife. I think yeah. that's cute. Because I think that gives us a purpose. <laughs> Deep down, every guy, as suave as any guy would ever be or try to put on, they're deep down, they're just little boys. And little boys want mommies. I have two kids. Wait, and then you guys wonder why I don't want to have any more. For now. <laughs> I'm like, I got my fill. The same view. Is this the same room? No, I think we're further to the right. We're having dinner in our room. We ordered room service because the place that they have open doesn't really have food food, they just have snacks. Because they told us like, if you want food food, you have to order room service. So we're like, oh, okay, let's we'll just get room service. Because <laughs> everything else, it's already like 10 p.m. Everything else is closed. And plus we don't have Turkish money with us. We don't want to depend on like, if restaurants around are gonna accept credit cards or not. So we're like, eh, let's just do it here. And plus we're really tired. We have to wake up in like five hours <laughs> to catch our plane. Yeah, I think today was the first time I ever fell asleep on food. <laughs> it's just unheard of. Like on the plane, they are getting ready to serve it and Tiff kept trying to wake me up and I was like, no, nah, I'm not having it. Yeah, you were even grumpy too because you don't want to wake up. I'm like, all right, then screw you, don't eat. <laughs> I'm trying to look out for you. So yeah, I don't know. We are in complete zombie mode. Hopefully we can get some good rest tonight and then be in Croatia and have an awesome seven days in Croatia. So we just flew into Croatia. We're in Zagreb. This is so exciting because my dream come true. Uh, a tourism board actually hit us up and wanted us to promote their beautiful country, so the country of Istria. It was really awesome that the tourism board even treated us and flew us business class out here. So we had a pretty comfortable flight and it was pretty awesome. I am pretty tired though because we didn't get that much sleep, but the adrenaline's pumping. I'm super excited. I can't wait to explore what Croatia has to offer. It looks like our ride is here. Nice. Casey, nice John, to nice to meet nice you, to meet Marco. You. Someone that invited us out here. We're in Istria! Yay. This is great! <laughs> Honestly, the three hour ride here was the most frustrating thing for me because I was trying so hard to stay awake to enjoy the view because it's so beautiful here. And I just couldn't, my eyes kept closing and I kept like snoring and I kept waking myself up. But man, that was like, that was a challenge trying to stay awake, but it's so gorgeous here. This is 
lard. <laughs> like Mexicans use it for everything. Pork fat. Yeah. How is it? It's really good. It's, it's so was buttery. Good. Or like lardy. <laughs> so, homemade prosciutto, ham cooked in bread. Underneath you have the bread, ricotta, ricotta. Oh, okay. I mean, I've never tried no, good quality one, I guess. Because, like, I've tried, you know, the truffle in a uh, Omami burger? Oh, right, right. Yeah. I don't like it. Don't at like all. it? No. It's, it's yeah. Yeah. No, because there's, like, a flavor in there. I call it battery acid flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that flavor. You ready to sprinkle some truffle on top? <laughs> I'm ready to try it. Do you want to choose your truffle? Uh, sure, I guess. This one. It's like an aphrodisiac, they say. Oh. oh yeah. <laughs> well. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had truffle flakes like this yeah. before. Subtle. Are the truffles um, grown in this area? It's yeah. way subtle. Oh, wow. So they're from... It's not like what you would expect, huh? Not at all, because the only truffle I've ever had was from a mommy burger, and I hated it. <laughs> This is actually really good. Yeah, we hope for the best because or you like them or you don't. Yeah. Like them. That's the thing. Yeah. yeah. I honestly thought I did. Oh my gosh. Like, I was like, after tasting this, I'm like, oh, I think I do. I think I do like it. <laughs> mm. Okay. You are you a truffle <laughs> fan now? Now I know what it's supposed to taste like. <laughs> This is good. <laughs> this is really good. Yo, you've only been here for a couple hours already. This is like the best trip ever. <laughs> My kind of vacation. Yes. Bio cheek. Bio cheek. Nice and fatty, tender. Melts in your mouth. Very rich. Mm -hmm. Taste with wine. That's, good. That's the way to do it. Well, that's a nice pairing. Yeah? That's definitely a nice pairing. Ribs from wild boar. Alright, so they brought us salvia leaves out. Uh, right the fried. So I'm gonna taste it. Oh my god, it's so aromatic. It's really good. Better than potato chip. This is really good. It's so like herby and aromatic. Better than Doritos. You have to try this. That is good. This is delicious. Who knew a salvia leaf would taste so good when fried like a tempura? <laughs> I know, it's so good. The tempura, sal tempura salvia leaf. Sorry, the wine is getting to us. But this is actually really good. All right, where are we at now? We are in this super cute boutique hotel. Oh, look at the view, it's so cute. And I can tell you right now, 100%, the camera does not do it justice. And it smells great. It's like they put cologne in, in the vents or something. It smells really good. This is such a cool trip, guys. Oh my god. You don't know how happy I am right now. Thank you guys so much because if it wasn't for you guys, we would not be able to be here at all. So we are all in this together. We're sharing this experience together. So hashtag share history because <laughs> that's the whole hashtag of this whole trip. But anyway, yeah, I need to take a nap. I feel a little loopy. <laughs> Okay, nap time. <laughs> day one. Yay! Well, technically, would you count yesterday as day one? Because we did land at 8.20 a.m. Sounds like a whole day. That's true. Yeah, yesterday was just a nice little welcome with a 
wonderful lunch. And then after we had lunch, we drove to this hotel where we are now. It's Which called... is on the other side of the street. Yeah, it's like actually across. across. Yeah, yeah, across Istria. And so now we're in this hotel called Hotel Petiani. So this is where we are on the map. There we go. Right there. And so where we had lunch was somewhere around here. So we drove across. And then once we got to the hotel, we just settled in a little bit. And an hour from when we got to the hotel, we were supposed to have dinner. And so I was like, okay, let me let me get a little power nap in. It was about 6 p.m. at that time. And I just knocked out <laughs> until this morning. I could not wake up. I have never been this exhausted before. Because usually, like, especially when we travel, I'm constantly just running on adrenaline. Like no matter how tired I am, I push through because I'm like, this is awesome, I'm traveling, I love traveling so much. And so I just run on adre adrenaline. And then we've had so many different flights and like transitioning. And when you're in transition, you feel like you can't really like rest. Like you're not comfortable, you know? It's yeah. awesome. Your adrenaline's constantly just like yeah. rushing through your system, so. Yeah, and then not only that, but especially all the airline air. Yeah. <laughs> like all the pressure and like just going, like the elevation and all of that. It's, it takes a toll on your body. So last night I was like, my body was like, nah, girl, you're done. You've got to rest. <laughs> and so I had to rest. And so, oh, yeah. oh yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I need some coffee. <laughs> now we're off. We're gonna go have some adventures. Explore Istria! Yay! So we're checking out the Laban Town Square. This is so cool. to hold olive oil and wine. The OG wine bottles? Yeah. We're learning so much history about Laban. It's pretty awesome. We're gonna go inside of a replica of a coal mine. So Laban was a coal mining town. And so we're gonna go check it out and see what it was like. Oh, the build. <laughs> <laughs> have a tiny head. Perfect. Cool. Three signs for going down. I already bumped my head. <laughs> I think I'm short. <laughs> I know, you don't have to duck down. So this place is actually a replica, but every single item that we see here is from the real coal mine. It is too dangerous to go to the real coal mine, so that's why they created this replica to show the tourists. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you're holding your shorts. I have to. Oh, you I just put my head again or something. Yeah. Oh man, I'm like five foot eight. I'm struggling in here. How did tall people get into the coal mines? So they closed the coal mines in Lab in the same year I was born, 1989. How did it work out? <laughs> Like a princess? Yes, my princess. <laughs> so we're gonna be checking out that area down there. It's called Rabat. And we're gonna check out the beautiful beach. It's gonna be so fun. It looks so gorgeous. I keep like having to remind myself that I'm here because this place is so unreal. It's so beautiful. I feel like I'm looking at wallpaper everywhere. Yeah, it's a it's a postcard. <laughs> Picturesque. It's gorgeous. This is very romantic. Yes. What do you mean yes? <laughs> <laughs> we need this to feel romantic. It's icing on top. It is. This is definitely icing on top. And it's always good to have icing. <laughs> This butterfly loves flying really close. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm like calling it like it's a cat. <laughs> Come here. Oh 
my god, it almost landed on my hand. Did you see that? that so <laughs> I love how it's flying around, like it's having a great time, like woo! <laughs> it's like doing tricks, like not tricks, but like. I know. It's kind of like going with the wind. He's giving us a show, he wants some tip. <laughs> tip money, like. There's a tiny little bowl. There's a butterfly. <laughs> So this is the new part of Laban, down there. Right now we're checking out the old part, but down there is like the new part. But it's so cool seeing so many insects around here, but they're not the kind of insects that you're like, oh, get away from me, I don't want you near me. These are actually like, oh, these are cool, let me see, let me take photos. <laughs> we just saw a whole bunch of butterflies, that dragonfly right there, and then that furry caterpillar. It's like out of a fairy tale, I swear. <laughs> look at these ants. They're taking the actual seeds, or what are they called? It's blackberry. Oh, look at this one. It's so cute. Look at it. How cute. They're working hard. I've never found insects so cute. Dang. Oh, how cute he fell over. You're silly. Now we're going to be checking out some olive oil from Negri. It's so exciting. I've never tasted olive oil, so now we're going to learn how to really taste and pick out great olive oil. So let's check it out. The first step will be to smell it, and then we will discuss what you can feel or understand or something like this, okay? Uh, it it. We're going to be olive oil sommeliers by the end of this. I don't know, there's so much like art and science yeah. going on. Uh, there's like seven characteristics to it too. Do you feel here? <laughs> yeah. Something. Oh yeah, it's like spicy. Spicy. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. <laughs> this is polyphenol. Polyphenol. This is very important antioxidant molecules. This is a reason why this kind of olive oil is uh, excellent. Yeah. This is a reason why I have thousands of clients. They take every morning one spoon of this olive oil. Why? Because of polyphenols. Polyphenols take free radicals. tasted olive oil. It's really cool learning about it. So he's saying first you have to hold it in your hand like this for about five seconds so you can be like body temperature. And then after you smell it. And what do you smell? You should be smelling like some sort of citrus. Uh, but mainly it should smell like fresh cut grass. And that's how you know it's good olive oil. And then you taste it and when you taste it, it, should, it shouldn't feel heavy. It should feel really light in your mouth and your throat should kind of be a little scratchy. And that's all of the antioxidants that is in here. So it's pretty cool. Now we're olive oil sommelier. And he's saying that a lot of people that come here and buy his olive oil, a lot of them drink a teaspoon a day because it's really healthy. You can feel it in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> really good. It's really, really good. It tastes really fresh, really fruity. AKA bomb. You feeling fancy or what? <laughs> I feel like this is all too good for me to deserve. This is so good. I'm not even exaggerating. Like This is amazing. Queen of the pedigree. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. <laughs> This is so good. I told you we're not worthy. <laughs> mm. Wash it down with some of this. Gotta do with the pinky out. You're not supposed to smell it when it's still moving because at that point all you're smelling is the alcohol. But then once you let it sit, then you're able to smell the actual grapes. Truly. Truly. leave without buying one. I had to buy some olive oil. <laughs> this was so good. We're gonna have to like hold on to it and 
use it very, very sparingly. Soon. Now we're gonna do a bike tour in Rabat. We're gonna get fitted with some electric bikes and then do this really cool trail and they're gonna show us a lot of points of interest and we get to see the ocean and then after that we get to hang out at the beach. So this is such a dope day. We got to olive taste and then bike ride and then beach time. It's so awesome. All right, so we parked our bikes so we can take a look at this gorgeous view that I could see through the trees already. I wish we could show you guys footage of the actual bike trail because it was Amazing. <laughs> it was so amazing. I had never a mountain bike before. So that was really fun, especially with an electric bike. Yeah, there were a few times where I'm like, I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> but luckily I was okay. There's some pretty sharp turns around the cliff, huh? Yeah. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Man, this bee keeps following me. I'm getting away from you. Woo! Run! Check out the killer bee. So beautiful, it's crystal clear. I can't wait to swim in this later. <laughs> so there's a five-star kid hotel here. Five stars for kids. Isaac would love this. I wish he was here. And there's just nothing but kids just having a blast. Like it makes me miss Isaac even more. All right, so we finished our bike tour and now we are all dressed and ready for the beach. I am so excited because riding by the beach and riding by the shore and watching everyone just getting wet and having such a nice time in the beach, I was like, I'm so jealous. So yay, now I get to be part of that too. We get to enjoy the nice weather because this weather is perfect. It's literally perfect. It's not super hot. It's not that windy. It's not cold at all. You know what I realized about uh, Croatia is that it's got everything. It's got architecture. It's got culinary arts, it's got nature, it's got mountains, it's got ocean, it's got beach. It's got like everything you would ever need at a vacation spot. Look at that. Mm, let's go. I wish I could be a little kid and have my parents bring me here. <laughs> I want to enjoy this as a kid. Just be the parent and the kid at the same time. Oh, but you can't enjoy the cute little tiny like activities for kids that they have. As a grown up, they don't let you. It's not fair. It's more fun being a kid. I guess it's pretty fun being an, an adult too. What's so fun about being an adult? You get to do anything. <laughs> Check this out. This is so clear. This water is so clear. It's so beautiful. It's a little chilly though, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little cold, huh? A little bit cold. But the, the, the water's really clear though. Oh. It's not that cold, you're exaggerating. Cold. Don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> So We're going out. See ya. Three, two, one. Oh. Yeah, I have to have my sandals on because these pebbles hurt. There's no sand here. And so when there's no sand, your feet don't get dirty. And when your feet don't get dirty, nothing gets dirty. That's true. <laughs> yeah, when we were up there on the bike, I didn't even, like, it's hard to tell you're in a beach because there's, there's no, no sand There's anywhere. no, like, residual sand, like, so sp clean. spreading. And then the white pebbles just make it look really pretty. Like, just, and they're so smooth, too. But it does kind of hurt to walk on in barefoot when you're not used to walking on rocks. Oh, yeah, and one thing you pointed out, too, was the fact that almost every, like, section of this beach is, like, a private beach. Yeah, right? that's so cool. Here in uh, Rabat, they have all these, like, little bays, or what would you call it? Like, a bay? Yeah, it just, like, it does it a lot of curves. curves. Yeah. It curves in a lot. And it curves in again and again. So Yeah, so of... everyone has their own private beach. Yeah. Very nice. You know, it's not a straight shot of beach yeah. where you can just see, like, rows and rows of people. Yeah, you don't see a lot of people. It feels very private here. True. Man, I really wish you could have brought the drone here. It's so beautiful. We could have showed you guys an aerial view of all this. But no, Morocco had to take it on our way out. <laughs> Dinner. Or dinner. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A very, very, very late lunch. lunch. This is so good. I've never seen pasta shaped like this. Mm. 
tastes like homemade pasta. Or this one too. Oh yeah. This is a traditional Istrian pasta called Fuji. my favorite one out of the all three pastas here. That's a nice bite to it. Yeah, I like it. It's got a nice texture to it. You can see. I bet you can see. <laughs> all right, the main course is here, and uh, can't order a steak without having some truffle on it, because you know Istri is known for their truffles. I guess you can order it without truffle, because I ordered mine with mushrooms. True. Oh, it's so soft, so tender. like the best steak you've ever had in your life. <laughs> really good. I think this is one of the most tender, softest steaks I've ever had in my life. Cuts through like butter. I concur. Wow. So this dessert here is specifically from this town of Lavins, and it's called Grafe. I already took a bite out of this, and it's so yummy. Let me see what's inside. Homemade pasta with uh, sweet cheese. I'm so full, but I can't not eat this. Mom, diggity. Mm. And it's pancake with fresh cheese and fig. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, that looks long. My mouth is watering for that one, although I have this dumpling in my mouth right now, it's watering for that one. I don't think I've been to a place as beautiful, honestly. Of all the places we've been to together, I think this definitely ranks the top for me. All right, day two. Now we're gonna learn how to hunt truffles. All right, we're going truffle hunting. Get them off. Get them off. They're very fast. You will say no. Wow. Oh, cuties. Off we go. 